Kai and welcome back to my channel and welcome welcome to a brand new speed build video and today we are going to be building a purple psychic home in the world of Glimmerbrook and it is the world that came with the Realm of Magic pack and I'm building this house today using um a lot of stuff from the new pack which is the paranormal stuff pack but I also used a lot of other items from the other packs but I actually wanted to build just um, a limited pack build which is only base game and paranormal stuff pack but I didn't manage to do so because I thought that there was too little stuff for me to put um, especially for the landscaping of this building using the new pack but I literally bought the pack like two hours ago um, and I'm recording this at 3 p.m. over here but I'm gonna publish this video um, at the same time well not at the same time at night time later on but you will see this in the morning if you're at another part of the world but anyways we are building on this lot known as Brooks Bridgeboro and I think it is a 30 by 20 lot and I chose this world because I thought that it suited this kind of um, vibe that the paranormal stuff pack gives off which is kind of like magical but at the same time it's not like um, it's so magical um, it's like kind of like street magic or um, magic practiced um, on the street like in New Orleans or like voodoo or stuff like that and I think the build mode items for this pack I really love I really love them and it's really like kind of looking mid-century type of um, furniture but yeah, I really like the build mode items and but um but <laughs> the debug uh items are not so much. There's only a little bit of debug items, but other than that, I think the build mode items are really nice and the colors look really vibrant and also suits the name of the pack. But um let me know if you guys already um bought the pack or if you're planning to, but I can assure you if you're a builder, you will enjoy furnishing your house using that pack because of the um, reasons that I mentioned just now. But anyways, I chose to build this kind of like Victorian looking house um, and I wanted to build a haunted house using this bag but I figured that a lot of people would actually do haunted houses so for the first um build that i used this pack i i i'm doing like kind of a victorian house um plus a little bit of a cottage vibe to it and i chose purple because i associated the pack with like magic and magicians and just um that kind of magic where it's not so like black magic it's just like um tarot cards and like you connect with nature and stuff like that um but i personally don't believe in tarot cards but I enjoy people like doing videos on it um, and I think there are a lot of like TikToks on like tarot cards where you choose the tarot cards or you choose like a crystal um, so you can predict the color or something like that but I think it's a fun idea but I just personally don't believe in it so I'm sorry if I offended anyone with my sentence but that's just my beliefs but anyway you can see that the structure of the house already came together and I actually built the house prior to the um, um, coming of the pack which is I think a few days ago before the pack came out or either that or last week I'm not so sure because I forgot but I built this um, house for the exterior quite a long time ago um, after they announced that um, the new pack itself is coming out but I chose this um, bright colors because I really like them <laughs> but let me know what you guys think in the comments of course um, and for the roofing it got me a little bit because it was kind of a complicated structure and this is the first time um, the structure of a house that I don't refer to from Pinterest and I wanted to do this kind of like transparent roof um, where you can see the inside walls but I didn't manage to do that because um, the the intersection of roofs up there kind of made it look like it's really obvious <laughs> if I put if I were to put a transparent um swatch to it swatch to it but I ended up just doing like a normal roof and the roof um height is kind of big I think um and just looks really cute in my opinion but if I, I wanted to use this white paneling for the exterior wallpaper but I didn't end up doing so because I thought that if I use the white color it would look too like dolly or like Barbie doll type of um, theme rather than it being like a psychic type of theme so I ended up changing the exterior of the color of the walls to a purple one um, but yeah I really had fun building this house and um, 
I imagine that there's a young um, practitioner who lives here who is into like tarot cards. And you can see that I already landscaped the house just because um, the landscaping took me a really long time and I didn't really want to waste time on that. So I did um, the landscaping and I stuck to this white and red and pinkish type of um, color just to match it with the pink um, fences that I use and also those um, window decorations you, that you see that look like a store um, and I imagine that the sim living here who is a young practitioner he or she um, she I think because of the colors anyway she um, is like a doctor to others so like others other sims who believe in in those like seance and stuff like that they go to this kind of house where they can like um, get their predictions um, analyzed or something like that um, so I put those shop things over there but um, for the exterior it took me a long time to do the landscaping because it's a quite huge lot for landscaping but I think I, I, I aced the um, landscaping pretty well um, and I really hope you guys did uh, I really hope you guys like it because I did um, <laughs> landscaping it and I already um, put the wallpaper for the interior of the house but I will be changing a bit of the wallpaper um, because the new pack I think has like those leaf type of wallpapers and I really like it. It looks kind of like bohemian as well as um, witchy and I really like that vibe. Um, but over here is going to be the foyer of the entrance where the customer sims quote unquote um, enter. They will see this foyer and uh, there is also a half bathroom in there where I just put a sink in there because it's such a small area. Um, but they enter this area and then they go to the seance room which is this room a purple colored room and I think the colors look really vibrant but I ended up changing that purple um, wallpaper to the new wallpaper that was given and I think I will be changing it to like kind of this maroon color um, but you will see it in the end but the seance room is really really cluttered and I think it's uh, it's actually my favorite part of the house because it's super cluttered and I really like the um, build mode items for this um, pack so I ended up like putting a lot of like those um, clutter objects everywhere in this room um, and I really like how it turned out and I think that this I, I didn't play test this build yet but I will be play testing it but any minor adjustments I will let you know in the comments I mean in the description because I haven't play tested it yet but I will and um, I will make sure that everything works fine um, as for the clutter it looks really cluttered and I don't think it's functional I'm not sure um, but I also put like a lot of clutter um, to make it look like it's inside of that um, display shelf I think it's called so I ended up using the OMSP shelf which is the red shelf that you see um, to put it in there and look fully cluttered and I really love it um and this shelf over here in particular is really really um quite bohemian as well as um very vibrant and I really like the plant that is hanging off of it and I really hope that they can make a, a different version of that plant except that it's not attached to the shelf because I think that the plant decoration will make um a really nice vibe when I want to build maybe kind of like a bohemian house or just um, a very um, fully planted house or something like that. Um, but the plant looks really great. I really like the plant. And I also ended up putting that neon sign um, of the parrot because I figured that the sim that lives here is a young woman um, or a young sim. And I think that the neon sign um, represents like these, this um, retro kind of vibe um, that this house also gives I think um, and I just really like um, decorating the seance room um, yeah I'm really looking forward to the gameplay itself because I think that this pack is a little bit different than others um, like the realm of magic it's what you like the realm of magic for example is what you um, expect like there is like um, magic in there and also some wands and some spells but i think this stuff pack in particular is um something different that the um um sorry um the sims team produced and i'm really looking forward to the gameplay even though i haven't um tried it yet but um i also haven't made the machinima while i was recording this voiceover so i will be also looking at the create a sim um outfits and hair and makeup and stuff like that and i'm really looking forward to it as well because i really like 
um, creating sims for machinimas um, but usually I just download um, sims from the gallery but I figured that I wanted to look at this um, pack more um, than just the build mode item so I will be doing that after this <laughs> but you saw that I put that um, bed before this the, the one from the realm of magic and it was too big for this um, solo bedroom so i ended up changing it to that smaller bed and i matched um the color swatch is which is a blue color swatch to the yellow wallpaper that you see and i'm in love with the color scheme that i use for this particular room because it looks really vibrant and it is kind of out of my comfort zone because i usually use like bright colors and just like the colors that you would normally see on normal days um but this time i chose a blue and yellow color scheme and i think it looks pretty great for this um part of the um build and this house also only has one bedroom and also one study room which i imagine that the study room is maybe a practition practition room practition room practicing room or something like that um, but it's not a, the same as a seance room but it is where your sim does their research before doing like seance or like practice um their like abilities to do stuff like that in this room um before going to their clients on the bottom floor and i really like the outcome but yeah i think the outcome looks really great in my opinion and i chose this pink and purple kind of color scheme um and i'm in love with this room because it's pink and <laughs> and pink is like my favorite color um and i really like it but i figured that um i wanted to put that plant over there just now you saw but it was too big and i I wish that they had a smaller version of that where it takes up may maybe just one tile because it takes up four tiles if I'm not mistaken I just saw it just now um, and that really sucked and I really like that plan because it's huge and just glorious and just um, really nice looking if it was it was only a plan that takes up one towel but i played um around with the tables you see that i put the table over there but i ended up switching it back to the original which is the hallway table in purple color scheme and i figured that it looked better that way so it doesn't look too um cramped or like too cluttered for this particular room because it's just a practice practice room yeah i'm not sure if that type of thing exists but you get what I mean. But anyways, this is going to be the um, bathroom of the build and it is on the top floor of the house. And it is a simple bathroom with wooden flooring and I figured that I use wooden flooring because it look it will look more traditional in this way um, rather than me putting um, tiles for it. And over here is going to be the backyard. I'm in love with the backyard um, because of the landscaping that I did. It's really colorful in my opinion and I really love what I did with the red and pink and white um, type of plants. Um, but like I said, I wanted to do a normal like limited pack build but I didn't end up doing so because I couldn't resist using the um, landscaping um, plants which is the Bogan Villa but anyways this is going to be the last part of the house and also the end of this preview video we are going to be entering the screenshot soon so I really hope you guys like this build if you do please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't and I'll talk to you guys in my next video bye <laughs>